Hi, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and today we're going to take a look at keyframing in the audio clip mixer. Your audio clip mixer should be located right next to your effects control. If it isn't, go to Window and make sure Audio Clip Mixer is selected. Let's play this. I hate the thing, Jack of all trades, master of none. A1 is the dialogue, A2 is the music. I'm going to go ahead and make things really easy for me. This is audio one or A1 right there. And I'm gonna write in dialogue so I don't forget which is which. And A2 is music. And when you have a lot of different tracks, and you can have many, many more tracks in this, it keeps you nice and organized. So let's look at the levels. I'm gonna first solo the dialogue, and you might notice how the S also appeared on track A1. Let's play it. I hate the saying, jack of all trades, master of none. I prefer to say I'm a jack of all trades, master of many. See, once I learned one type of design, I found it easier to add another because some skills translate. Now, maybe I want to boost that just a little bit. I would like to point out that we are an audio clip mixer, not an audio track mixer. So any change I make with the volume has to be done individually with each of these tracks. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to boost this up just one point or so, and I'm going to do the same for this one. So. I hate the translate. Now let's take a look at the music. I'm going to solo the music. You could do it up here or down here. It doesn't matter. I would actually take care of that peak in the gain. G, normalize max peak, I'm gonna say minus 12. I want it to have lower peaks. So now nothing here is going to get above minus 12. And that's a really nice level for background sound. So together, let's see what they do together. So just to be clear, this is your interval dialogue and music over here which is in your window, if you don't have that up, audio meters. That's everything together of your, all your audio tracks together. Maybe I wanna lower this music just a little bit. Like I'm gonna uniformly lower that music track. Another, because some skills translate, such as typography, color. That's probably a better level for behind his voice. Now let's say that I feel like keyframing as a live mix. You might remember from another lesson that diamonds are keyframes. Click on my diamond, and I'm going to play. Skills it. translate, such as typography, color, I'm and start composition. Up now. So let's stop, and I'm going to make this larger. You might notice I have all these keyframes here. We're going to look at how to make them less keyframes, but just to look at what this done. Keep an eye on this. This now moves on its own. This has. This has now been automated. In composition. This is moving on its own up as it goes. Maybe I want to bring it down after we go to black. So it just did that. Whoops, it kind of went back up. But let's just get rid of that. I'm going to press, you might remember W, get rid of that. This is an odd amount of keyframes, and most likely you have even more of these. And the way to correct this overabundance of little keyframes is to go underneath Premiere Pro, Preferences, Audio. And it's over here under Minimal Interval Thinning. And I've already changed this, but I'm going to change it again. I'm going to change it to 600. You, yours might say 30. I'm going to remove attributes. And I'm going to do this again. I'm going to first just uniformly lower my audio here. And whoops, make sure you're not, make sure you don't have the diamond on because that instantly creates a keyframe, which I auto, I did by accident a second ago. So in composition, I'm going to start having the music come up now. So I'm going to keyframe, color, in composition, and then start moving. So you can see now I have less keyframes. I have more of a normal number of them to create this loop, this effect. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on keyframing in the audio clip mixer. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.